The paragraph control feature is used to control the paragraphs as they bridge the gap in between two pages. For example, at the bottom of my first page, I have the first line of my paragraph, and obviously the rest of the paragraph can't squeeze in at the bottom of the first page, so it spills over to the top of the next. Okay, now is this a paragraph that I'm looking at, or is it a paragraph that Word sees as a paragraph? Well, to find out, come up here, as we talked about in earlier training videos, go to the Home tab to the Paragraph group, turn on the codes, and at the end of the first line, do you see a paragraph marker? No. Next line, no, 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 just at the end. So all the lines above that is tied to this paragraph right here, that paragraph marker, until it goes to the next one. So if you don't want to use the paragraph control feature, which we'll talk about in just a minute, you could go ahead and click in front of the line that's by itself at the bottom of the first page and hit enter. And it's got it all together. And why would you want to do that? Well, because when I undo that, if I print this off and hand it off to somebody and they read the bottom line and then they flip to the next page and they start reading smallest market in the radio and they're like now who are we talking about well they have to go back to the bottom of the first page oh it's Glenn and then they can go back and read it and go well what was that I read on the other page and there's comprehension issues when you get paragraphs split like that when there's not enough of the paragraph to give you something to go off of better yet if you can keep it together entirely then that's the way you want to go. But when I hit enter, the problem that you run into is that you got double spacing, which may not be a problem until you either add or delete text above those paragraphs, those two empty ones, because if I go ahead and, you know, select that paragraph and delete it, now I have double spacing in between a paragraph as opposed to in between a title and a paragraph. And as you see, all the other paragraphs have just single spacing or one paragraph marker. And so if I go ahead and hit undo, or I go the other way, I type in some text and hit enter, 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 then down at the top of the next page, well, you see how it gets pushed down and it's not consistent with a single paragraph marker in between the paragraphs. So that's kind of messy. Let's go ahead and hit undo a couple of times. And what we can do instead is use the paragraph control feature or find out what that's about and see if it'll work for you, as opposed to just hitting enter and putting the first line to the top of the next page. So to bring up the paragraph controls, you can do it one of a couple of ways. First off, you want to go ahead and click anywhere within the paragraph that you want to control. And it can be the first line in the paragraph at the bottom of the first page or anywhere in the paragraph at the top of the next page because it's seeing it all as one paragraph here. And then come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group and click on its expandable dialog box button. And if it doesn't take you right to the Line and Page Break tab, which, well, I've been working in this, so... It takes me right to it. Let me click on the indents and spacing, then go to the line and page breaks tab. And we're going to be covering these four options here or features for pagination. Now you can bring up the paragraph window that way, or let me close out. A lot faster is to go ahead and right click anywhere within the paragraph. And in the shortcut menu, click on paragraph, brings up the same window. And make sure you're on the line and page breaks tab. And the first one we'll talk about in the four is widow and orphan. An orphan is the first line of a paragraph by itself at the bottom of a page. And you can see that that's by itself at the bottom of a page as opposed to a widow, which is the reverse, where if we had all these lines except for the last line at the bottom of the previous page, and we just had the top of this page, a single line remaining of the paragraph, or to be precise by definition, the last line of a paragraph by itself at the top. So the young one, the orphan, by himself comes before, and the widow, the older one, is the last line at the top of the next page by itself. And so either or, if you've got a paragraph that's a widow or an orphan, just check the box, and it will take a look at it and go, well, we can't bring the lines in the remainder of the paragraph here up here because, well, we got no more room. With the footer here, the margin, and one paragraph, that's not going to work. So when I check the box and click okie dokie, it takes that line, the orphan, and brings them home with the rest of the fam. Oh, that's nice. And then you can see you just got one paragraph marker here and not double spaced. So let's go ahead and undo that. And instead, let me delete these lines here. So we can see down below that now we have a widow, which is the last line of a paragraph by itself at the top of a page. 
And so if I right click on the last line or just anywhere within that paragraph, even at the bottom of the next page, because all these lines are together in the same paragraph, just right click, go to paragraph and check the same box. Now it can't take the last line and push it up here. So what it's going to do is so the widow's not by itself, when I click okie dokie, is just bring a line from the paragraph here and add it down below. So no longer by himself, we have an extra line. Well, now that you have another line with it, you get a little bit more to work with when you want to remember what's been talked about without flipping back to the bottom of the first page or the previous page. And then, of course, you can go ahead and right-click anywhere on the paragraph, go to paragraph, uncheck it, click okie dokie, and it goes back to the default here. Let me go ahead and hit undo several times. So we're back to where we started. And let's go to the next one where we want to keep one paragraph with the next. So we've got a title here, what is Glenn, and then we've got the paragraph below it. And so if you want to keep the paragraph above it with the next paragraph, if it splits across a page, well, let me go ahead and show you. Let's click up here, hit enter, 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 enter. And well, let's pretend that's text. In any case, you see how it splits? And when you go to the top of the next page, you're like, uh, I forgot what section I'm in or what this part of the document's about, you'd have to go back to the bottom of the next page and go, oh, what is Glenn? Well, instead, you can actually keep this paragraph with the next paragraph by right-clicking on that paragraph, going down to paragraph, and say that you want to keep with the next paragraph, and click okie dokie, and there you go. So whenever it wants to split between the two paragraphs or break across a page, it will always keep that with the next paragraph. Oh, that's wondrous. Let's go ahead and hit undo several times. Next, if you just want to keep a line with the next line, so without widow and orphan, you can of course go ahead and right click on that line to go to paragraph, and we're talking just about lines, so if you want to keep this line together with the next, the line that I right clicked on, well go ahead and check it, click okie dokie, and there you go. Now notice with my codes on, you get this little square, looks like a bullet, well it lets you know that something's going on, it's either keeping it with the next paragraph or keeping lines together. And so if you come up here and trump the codes, it's not there, so it's not a bullet. It's just a code to let you know about some of the options that you chose, either keep with next paragraph or keep lines together. Let's go ahead and turn it back on. And let's undo that. And then last but not least, if you want your sections to always start at the top of a page, you can, of course, go ahead and right-click on the section title go down to paragraph and say you want to break before that paragraph click okie dokie and there you go so it doesn't matter where it's at it's always going to break on its own page and of course there's the code for it I mean it's the same code as keep lines with next it's just to let you know that a code's been attached to it a paragraph code And if you want to know what code that is go ahead and right click on that paragraph where the codes at to paragraph and ow. Oh. That's what it is. Page break before that paragraph. Always page break before that paragraph. You can uncheck that, click okie dokie, and back to where we started. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.